Okay, hi. So it's day six and I've lost two pounds, but I just wanna say, don't get excited if you lose or don't lose quickly at like, and be prepared to plateau if you like drop two pounds in a second. I was shocked. Let me just say, I was also extremely hungry yesterday after I ate my second meal, but you're rewarded if you suck it up. Okay, so today we're gonna make a really short, quick meal with my rotisserie chicken that I bought the other day because I was in a rush. Okay, so I, I'm making extra because I just wanna be organized. This is two chopped red onions, which really made me cry. I'm going to cook it in a little bit of bone broth. You could use regular broth, but if you use bone broth, you get the extra added of collagen. Let's talk about this in a second. Let me put these in here because I have to go somewhere. This is not my ideal cutting board. I ordered my ideal cutting board, but it got lost on Amazon. So hopefully we get a new one soon. Okay, so. I guess I should show you all, just so you see. I only put, can we see? A little bit of broth in there because, you know, the onions and the mushrooms are gonna make plenty of water. So we just need a little water going. I'm gonna add salt. I like to use Himalayan salt, the big pieces, especially if I'm just cooking. Of pepper I'm gonna be lazy I'm gonna do my already ground pepper I'm gonna put this on. I also always have a, a smaller salt too this one's sea salt but whichever sea salt or Himalayan salt those are preferred don't use that iodized table salt ever throw it out get some of this and different sizes I also have a fine one I don't know where it is though it out later all right so we're also going to add mushrooms to this so yeah so we're just going to take the rotisserie chicken and we're going to add it with mushrooms onions and a mustard sauce because remember we can have unlimited mushrooms and onions so that's what we're going to do and that normally i make that with pork it's so good but like i said i had that leftover chicken so we have to do something with it and this is what we're doing. Okay, what was I gonna say about bone broth? Okay, so bone broth, you can make your own as well. It's expensive, so I try to buy it when it's on sale or I make my own when I have leftover bones. And since we bought an organic chicken, when we're done with it, we can make bone broth with it. So you get two, two out of one. It's a bargain. I guess no one might want to hear me chop all these mushrooms. Maybe I can say something else of interest. <sighs> oh, okay. So these are these are porta, um, baby bellas, so little portobello mushrooms. I personally prefer these, but go ahead and have white ones if you want. I also like shiitake mushrooms, but any type of mushrooms are good. And sometimes I buy other ones. It's just that at the store. Usually there's not that many choices available, but these are always available. And uh, if I know I'm gonna use a lot, I might buy them at Trader Joe's already sliced. But let me just say the sliced ones don't last as long. 
you could buy these loose ones and they can last a pretty long time in your refrigerator. Normally I keep them in a paper bag if I buy them loose and they'll last longer that way. If they're in the plastic, you gotta get them out of there. They're not gonna last as long as if they were in the paper bag. That's all the tips I have on mushrooms. Some people like to chop off the stems. They think they're too woody, especially on the shiitakes, but I just eat the whole thing. When you're hungry, you'll see you'll be a lot less picky. Everything will taste so much better. Like my rice cake yesterday. It's the best rice cake I ever had. Okay. Let's see how these are doing. Sitting there. Okay, I'm kind of making a ridiculous amount, but honestly, I'm gonna freeze them. And meal prep is key for me because I don't like cooking over and over and over again. I won't, I, I just, even once a day is enough for me. So I definitely need to make extra meals. Especially because really the only like quick meal you can make is kind of a salad and salads without fat on them, for me, are not my favorite, except for my Mexican salad that I made. That I love. Other than that, I'm like, oh, I wish I could put some dressing on there. So it kind of behooves you to like, like mushrooms and onions because they make things taste good. And this almost seems creamy when I add the mustard to this. So I'm gonna save it and put it with other things like my pork chops. And that chicken kind of is gigantic, so I'm gonna have to, I'd probably be able to freeze some of it with this sauce. Maybe that will make it sort of go away quicker because it's a lot. Four ounces is not that much. If you're a guy, I guess you could do six ounces. But anyway, like I said, you're gonna have a lot of food if you got a rotisserie chicken. salt because, well, well, you know what, I'm going to add it all. It's probably still not that much. Okay, so I was going to make asparagus. I guess I still going to make it still. All right. So this will be our, our weighed vegetable, the asparagus. And I'm just going to rinsed off the asparagus. So I don't, these, 
You know how normally they're really tough at the bottom? These don't have a lot of white, I purposely found. But you're supposed to like, just break to where it naturally breaks and then that'll get rid of the, the woody part. Now some people save this and add it to broth, but I'm not going to. But you could. You could save that and cook it up. Maybe these aren't even that bad. Maybe I don't even need to break these off much. Oh yeah, no, that's okay. I do. These are good looking though. So this, Water is a boiling on the thing. Can you see that? I don't know. All right, anyway, I'm just gonna throw it in like the tiniest bit of water to just kind of steam it. Okay, that is cooking. Now let's get a plate. Actually, let's get rid of this mess. I usually just, whenever I get something left over, you know, I don't know what this had in there, some kind of vegetable probably. And then I keep it and I weigh things on my little scale here so that I don't get the scale dirty. Because we're gonna have our, I need to work on my camera angles here, but okay, so I'll put this here, get a plate. I'll get a bowl because it's handy. Okay, so. We need four ounces of chicken. And we're not gonna eat the skin right now because we're doing no fat right now. In a, couple, in a couple weeks, we'll be able to eat the skin. to like the dark meat, but I'm gonna put a little dark meat in there. All right, 
Oh, it's just a teeny tiny touch over, but that's fine. Now, you could heat this up, but I'm not that picky. I don't mind my food room temperature. Those are good. They're kind of crisp, but I'm pressed for time right now. I might have to abort my original plan. Oh, we need to weigh the asparagus. I forgot. See? Wow, this isn't even four ounces, so I'm gonna go crazy and have one more. So that's really not so bad. And then with this mushroom sauce, it'll be delicious. Okay, so unfortunately these mushrooms are not red tea, but I have to go somewhere. So I'm going to eat them not as cooked as I'd like them. And then later on today, we'll eat this again. And I will show you it more, a little more cooked. I just have to eat something before I go. Okay. And I'm gonna, that's the, that's the thing I gotta tell you. It, it, it takes me like an hour to make almost anything. That's why you're gonna want a meal prep because it'll drive me crazy. I'm just gonna make a impromptu one just for a little flavor. Just put a little bit of mustard. I can't see what I'm doing. A little bit of mustard there. This can be turned off. Okay, I'm just off. Okay. And And I'm throwing a little bit of these mushrooms over there. It'll heat everything up and it'll give me something to eat now, but I will definitely show you more what I like to do later on the next meal. But sometimes, gotta just suck it up. I'll stir this up and it'll also make this chicken warm, which will be nice. And then, These are good on their own. And another thing I do normally is I get out my sauerkraut or pickles or kimchi and I have a couple bites of that for probiotic and a little extra food. But anyway, so yeah, this is a super quick thing. And like I said, we'll make it a little more later. Okay, so I gotta run. Bye.